Welcome back everyone to Learning Petition. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 13.13, okay? It says, block A has a weight of 8 pounds and block B has a weight of 6 pounds. They rest on a surface for which the coefficient of kinetic friction, mu of k, is equal to 0 0.2. If the spring has a stiffness of k equal to 20 pounds per feet, and it is compressed 0 0.2 feet, determine the acceleration of each block just after they are released. All right. So what we're hearing, seeing here is our figure, and we got block A and block B. They're both attached by this spring, okay, of coefficient k. And what we know that this spring is compressed, okay? And we want to know what's the acceleration of these two blocks right after we release the, we release them since the, we're compressing the spring. Then when we release it, it want, they want to move opposite sides from each other. Okay, so in order to solve this problem, let's just start by figuring uh, uh, our given. So we have the weight of block A is going to be A pounds. We also have that the weight of my block B is equal to 6 pounds. They are giving the coefficient of kinetic friction to be equal to 0 0.2. Um, we're giving the stiffness of the spring to be 20 pounds per feet. And lastly, we're given that the compressed distance is equal to 0 0.2 feet of this spring, okay? So, these are the givens. And in order to solve this problem, like in most other problems that we have dealing so far, we are going to utilize a free body diagram. So, we're going to do a free body diagram. At my point, I'm at block A. So, we're going to draw our block A. Looks something like this. So, it's just a squared shape and what are the forces in this block well first of all we got the weight pushing it down of this block we are also giving the force that this spring is doing opposite to the weight we have the normal force that the surface is applying to the block and lastly we have the frictional force going to the opposite direction so i'm going to call it f of f force frictional force and of point A, okay? And it's going to, towards our right, and that's because my block is being pushed to the left, right? So, always opposite to it. Now, in order to know the acceleration, well, our acceleration will only be in the X component, right? We will only have an X component of acceleration. Since we're not moving in the Y direction, well, we don't have acceleration in there. However, we have this frictional force that we don't know how much it is. We don't know how much is the spring force or we can calculate it later. However, the frictional force, we cannot, we do not have it. So if we go back to our static problems, friction is equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction times our normal force. Since we don't know our normal force, now in this case, we're going to utilize our summatorial forces in the y direction and see if we can solve for it. We're going to assume that going up is positive. So what do we have in the y direction? Well, we got negative the weight of A, the block A, plus the normal force of A. And as, said, as I said before, there is no acceleration in the y direction. Therefore, all of this is equal to zero. If we solve... Uh, we put the values in, so we got negative WA, which is 8 pounds, plus the normal at 8, which is what we're trying to find, is equal to 0. And from here, we can say that my normal at 8 is equal to 8 pounds, equal to the weight, okay? So, now that we have this normal, what well, we can go ahead and say, okay, so my frictional force at my point A has to be equal to mu of K, times my normal at A. And let's plug our numbers. So mu of K is equal to 0 0.2 given by the problem. And the normal at A, we just found it to be 8 pounds. If we multiply this into our calculator, we'll get a total of 1.6 pounds. All right. And so now that we have our frictional force, the rest that we need to do in our X values, find this spring force. Well, the spring force, I'm going to do it over here in blue. My spring force 
is going to be equal to k times the distance or in this case I wrote it as s okay and k is equal to 20 multiplied by the compressed distance of 0 0.2 and this should give me a total of 4 pounds okay so now we know both components the, both forces in the x direction so we're going to go ahead and say okay we're going to do the summatory of forces in the x direction assuming that going to the right is positive and what do we have well we have the positive frictional force of a minus the force of the spring and all this has to be equal to the mass of a multiplied by the acceleration of a which we want to find is this acceleration at a so we're going to plug in the numbers the frictional force we found it to be 1.6 now we're going to have 1.6 minus the spring force which is calculated to be equal to 4 is equal to the mass of a okay so here we're given the weight weight is not exactly equal to to the mass however we can find from the weight if we divide it by our acceleration gravitational acceleration which is 32.2 in imperial units we have the mass and then we multiply this by our acceleration which is what we're trying to find if we solve for our acceleration at a we will have 1.6 minus 4 that will give me negative 2.4 all divided uh, well first multiply it by 32.2 and all this divided by a and when we plug this into our calculator, let's see how much we get. We get a total of negative 9.66 feet per second square. Okay, so the first thing I want you guys to notice in our first answer for our acceleration is that we got a negative value. And this negative value means that since I'm assuming that going to the right is positive, negative just means that my acceleration is going to the left, as we would expect, right? We're going to do the same process for our block B. We're going to start with a free body diagram at block B. Okay, so let's draw this guy over here. Now at our block B, we'll have similar forces. We got the weight at B. We'll have the normal at B. We will have uh, the force of the spring, uh, let me go up, well the spring will want to push me to the right, so let's draw that one first. So we got the force of the spring pushing me this way, and opposite to that force is going to be the frictional force at B. Okay, so same process we did before, we're going to start with the summatory of forces in the y direction, and the reason for this is that my acceleration is equal to zero, so we are able to solve for something. It's going to be negative the weight of B plus the normal at B, and this should be equal to zero. So we will have negative six pounds plus NB should be equal to zero. And from this equation, we can relate that my normal of B is equal to six pounds. Okay. And then last, we're going to do the summatory of forces. In the x direction, again, going to the right is going to be positive. What do we have? Well, we got the force of the spring minus the frictional force at B. That'll be equal to the mass, which is the weight divided by 32.2 times the acceleration of um, block B in the x direction. Okay, so uh, we do know the force of the spring, which is the same one as calculated before previously. Let me go up and show it, 4 pounds. However, we do not know this frictional force yet, but we can calculate it with this normal force. So remember, my frictional force at B is equal to my mu sub k times my normal at B. And if I plug in the numbers, it's going to be 0 0.2 multiply by 6 okay and if we put that into our calculator that will give me a total of 1.2 if i'm not wrong so we have that if we plug in the numbers we got the spring force is 4 minus 1.2 for the frictional force is equal to 6 over 32.2 times our acceleration of b if we solve for our acceleration of b i'm going to utilize my left space 
it's going to be equal to, well, first we got 4 minus 1.2, that will give me 2.8. We're going to multiply it by the 32.2 of the other side and divide it by 6. And if we plug this into our calculator, we will get a total of 15.03 feet per second square, giving me my second answer. Notice that this value is positive, therefore my acceleration is going to the right as we expect for this problem. So I hope you guys liked the video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next.